What's up, YouTube? There she is. The blue beauty in all her glory. There she is at her nice new home. So awesome. Welcome back, guys. Today, we're gonna do one of the first things every Tesla owner does as soon as they bring their car home, and that's accessorize. That's right, we got a bunch of accessories that we're gonna go ahead and add to our blue beauty over there. But we'll show you the installation as well. Here we go, let's get rolling. I wanna let everybody know a couple things. First of all, if you're only interested in a couple of these accessories, we're gonna go ahead and timestamp them all in the description down below. The second thing to know is all of these accessories we bought ourselves. None of this was any type of sponsorship. Nothing was given to us for free. We are very much a small fish in the big pond that is YouTube still. So we are getting nothing for free, guys. But hey, you guys can help change that. You know, all you gotta do is smash that like button if you like accessories. Please help us get the word out on the channel. I know it sounds like we're begging all the time. But I prefer to think of it as just asking politely over and over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, anyway, let's get back. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have a whole bunch of goodies to go ahead and accessorize our car with. So let's get rolling. All right, guys, so let's give you a quick tour and layout of the land. So first of all, we have some all-weather mats here from 3D. Over here, we have a sliding center console tray by Abstract Ocean. Here we got some screen cleaner also from Abstract Ocean. Over here we have the cup holder stabilizer. We got the dual motor emblem in matte black so we can go ahead and replace that on the back. That is our screen protector also from Abstract Ocean. We have the black out Tesla vinyl wrap for the Tesla logo on the front and the back of the car. We have a mini four port USB rotating hub to help out with that and then we have over here uh, this what is this I don't even remember what this is yeah I'm gonna be honest guys I don't even know what that one is we'll see what happened what it is when we open it that is the the front dash cap to get rid of that ugly wood color that neither of us really like. We got some carbon fiber caps for that as well. All right, guys, first up is the screen protector for the main screen here. This is something you should really order as soon as you order your Tesla. Go right on, order this, make sure you have this in hand before it comes in. This is so much easier to put on and ensure a really good clean install with no bubbles, no nothing, the moment you take the original plastic sheath off. We want with the matte finish on this only because a lot of people talked about how there could be screen glare and things like that uh, when you're driving around the sun especially with such a huge glass roof up there so the matte finish will help with that it also helps to avoid fingerprints one of the other reasons why I went with abstract oceans uh, screen protector was because of the amazing install process that they provide with they give you a uh, frame that goes around that screen that's going to help uh, make sure everything stays nice and aligned uh, as we put it on. So here's the screen protector itself, the glass. Uh, you'll see here it says, uh, so this is the back side. So this is what we are gonna be putting up. It also tells us this is the top side here. And then this is the side that will be facing us. So when we're ready, we're gonna peel this off, leaving this up, and we're just gonna kind of pop it on like that. Do a quick dry fit, looks good. So as soon as I pull that off, uh, it even tells us on here that this is the up direction. So as soon as I pull that off, I'm gonna put this on and then we're gonna go right to it. Uh, we are ready here. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Oh, nothing's better than a good peel. Nothing is better than a good peel. There we go. Now it's on, we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in clean mode. Plus, this also gives us a complete black background, which makes it a little bit easier to see if you have any dust on the screen. I can't believe how much dust got on this thing. I might just pull this off. All right, I think we got a pretty good clean finish there. Pop that there. Here we go. Oh, 
All right. Press from the center and just do a line straight across. And you get that satisfying little, uh, little motion there. So up here, we are good to go. There's nothing there. We can take our frame off now. We are done with that. Uh, usually, and you'll see, if you just give it a minute, usually it'll work its way out. We have a completely clean install, guys. There is no dust bubbles at all. We have complete contact all the way. It went all the way around. So now we're going to take our cloth, and we're just going to go through, make sure we wipe it all off, go along the edges. The edges are always a good thing to grab there. All right, now let's turn the screen back on. Boom! Screen is now protected in a matte finish. It looks really nice. It's not supposed to show any uh, fingerprints at all. I really dig the, the matte look there. That really looks awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased. I mean, there's no fingerprints it's picking up on. This is, this is awesome. Cool. I figured this would be a home run right out the gate. Good start. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to install are these all-weather mats. Now, these are by 3D. Uh, these are the ones that everybody says are absolutely amazing. I got to tell you, they feel super high quality. This is like, I mean, it's formed. You, you can see it, uh, and the material feels really nice. I, I think this is really uh, going to not only look good, but, but function really well also. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put these in. The other nice thing about the spider uh, ones is that they have this special material on the back. It's a very soft velcro so it's designed to grip the carpet on the bottom so these things don't slip around but it's not strong enough so or it's not too strong so when you pull it up if you want to take it out clean it off wipe it down whatever you can do so and it's not gonna wreck the carpet so really excited to see how well that works so let's get rolling on this one guys so the all-weather mats are in they are looking pretty good check it out guys there's the, the 3d logo you can see it's almost like a, a carbon fiber type of material but they're awesome I mean look they don't they don't they don't move they, they have that texture on the bottom but it is super smooth I mean they nailed every single indent they really nailed it it looks awesome these technically the ones that are up at this moment as the posting of this video they're really for the five seater the seven seater design ones aren't out yet uh they're supposed to be out in april sometime according to the manufacturer but the ones for the front and the second row for the five seater they will still work in the seven seater all right guys so the next item that we're going to take a look at is the cup holder stabilizer so this is meant to go right in here in the cup holder so one of the big complaints that a lot of people have about the model y and really all teslas in general with their cup holders is that they're really open and there's no like little springy things on the side to adjust the cup holder to a different size to stabilize the cup that's in there so for example when you have something like like a bottle of water in there i mean you can see there's all this space around so as you drive you get this type of effect where you know you hit a bump you take a turn it just does this fine for a bottle of water because there's a cap on it much different story though if you're talking about a cup of coffee and now all of a sudden you got coffee everywhere so abstract ocean makes this little gizmo that goes right in here in the middle and it has springs on either side so it can hold the cup in place like most other car manufacturers already do with their cup holders. So they gave us uh, some tops for it. So if we wanted like a matte black finish, we have that option to do it. So this is all it is, right? It has the little spring jobbers on here that most cup holders have on the sides that help keep the actual drink in there where it's supposed to be. No tape, no nothing. It just kind of slides right in there. And when I want to press it down, I can go ahead and press it down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the matte black finish on there to see what it looks like. Because the, the, the standard finish just does not look very good. So let's go ahead and let's, let's put this on there. So we slide that in. It just kind of slides right down there. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. I like it. Let's move on to the next item. 
The next item is again from Abstract Ocean, and this really kind of pairs and goes with the screen protector that we put on. It's just a simple all-in-one screen cleaner. Very simple, very easy, but it's an all-in-one thing, and I really liked how compact it is and that it makes things super easy. So it comes with a case that it just totally slid out of. When you take it out though, the case of the cleaner itself is actually that microfiber cloth. So it's what you need to actually wipe it. And then it's got the cleaner here. Here's the little nozzle. So all you do is go ahead and put our car in cleaning mode. Give it a little spray. And then you take the cloth and you really just use the case to clean it. Boom, very simple. And then when you're done, it goes back into its home where it's good to go and then tuck it away. Pick it up, it's like 10 bucks, super easy. It's an all in one thing. You don't have to go searching for a microfiber cloth somewhere in your car to clean it. Very simple, very easy. All right guys, so next up is an item to help with the center console. So you have this awesome, cavity that's huge and deep and yes anytime you want to use it you almost got to like stick it and, and lose your entire arm in this thing i mean it's 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 kind of crazy guys so this is really huge it's awesome gives you tons of storage space but it'd be nicer if there was something like a tray up here to kind of help it be a little easier to use now tesla does make one of course they don't give you one for free tesla does make one though that you can put in now one thing to notice if you have the original center console with the glow glossy piano black finish, you will need a different one. So pay attention to the one that you order. The one that I got, this is specifically for the new center console of 2021. So just make sure if you're gonna order it, make sure you're ordering the correct version for your vehicle. This thing is super awesome, very easy to use obviously. All it is is a tray. You take it out, you slide it in, and it sits there nice and simple. The beauty is I really I really like how they designed this one. So you slide up the cover on the new center console, right? And now you want to get underneath the tray. See this little this little lip right here. You just slide it up and now all of a sudden you can access everything that's underneath. And then when you got to bring it back, you just grip it and you slide it back. It's really nice. Lots of uh, little compartments in here too. Little spot here for like credit cards or business cards, uh, like a coin spot, uh, tons of space here. You know what would go perfect in there? Your glass cleaner from Abstract Ocean. That's right. Look, it just pops right in there. Really simple, really easy. Gives you a lot more accessibility and usage, usage of that center console storage right there. Awesome, that was an easy one. Let's move on to another one. All right guys, so as I'm editing this video and putting it all together for you guys, I'm quickly realizing we just bought too much stuff for this video. So we're gonna have to break it up into a two part video. You're watching part one. We're gonna get part two out to you guys in just a little bit. This upcoming weekend, we're taking a road trip to Hershey Park. So we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk about our experience with the Model Y seven seater so far for the last week. Things we like, things we don't like. And we're gonna vlog the entire trip and see how it works on a road trip. So we're gonna put that video out in between. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss part two when that comes comes out back to what you were watching. If you liked the video guys, if you found any of these uh, accessories helpful at all or the installation process of any of it, please chuck a like on the video. It really helps in the algorithm. Uh, all the links to every product that we used is in the description below. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And as always, if you're looking to buy your own Tesla, our referral link is below if you need one to make sure that you get your free 1000 supercharger mile. And we will see you in another video real soon.